to measure the strike line first we will have to measure the zero dip line so how to take the reading of the dip the inner circle in the dial helps us to take the reading of the dip amount next we will have to move the clinometer all around the surface so that the arrow uh, coincides with the zero of the inner circle the line which you can see is nothing but the zero dip line which is nothing but again the strike line and hence we will get the zero dip line uh, next we will have to measure the orientation of the strike line with respect to the geographic north now what you can observe in the dial is the crown now what we will do is that we will align the clinometer in such a way so that the bridge is parallel to the strike line and the clinometer is held horizontally. After aligning the bridge with the strike line, we get to see that the northern needle uh, gives us a reading. Uh, say here it is around 3.5 degree. This gives us one of the uh, directions of the strike line. So we can see that we can already measure uh, mathematically the opposite direction but still we will kind of measure it with the uh, clinometer. So what next we will have to do? We will have to keep the crown in that direction because the previous time we have kept the uh, crown towards 325 direction. As we are measuring the one on the opposite side we need to keep the crown on that direction. As you already know, the dip direction is perpendicular to the strike line. So next we will draw a line perpendicular to the strike line on the plane. We can always uh, calculate the dip direction mathematically but if we have to measure it with the clinometer we'll have to keep the crown in the dip direction and measure the dip direction. Next, to find the dip amount, we need to place the uh, clinometer perpendicularly uh, to the surface and take the reading of the needle uh, with the inner circle and find out the dip amount. Here, 